Hey everyone, Mystic here. Welcome back to the Should You Buy series where I review items in Growl Era. Each item is rated on its usefulness to the player, the rarity of it in-game, and the demand it has with the player base. Afterwards, I speak to the price of the item and give my opinion on whether it's worth spending your hard-earned shells on. Today, I'm going to be checking out an item that came out during an event about 3-4 to four months ago. This was a pretty surprising looking item, and it surprised me even more when it was rare enough to become a super. Of course, the item I'm talking about is the Pumpkin Golem Ring, so without further ado, let's jump into it. So starting off with usefulness, at first this item definitely looks like a pretty cosmetically based item. It basically turns you into a giant pumpkin with arms. However, the thing that stops this from just being a regular morph is its ability to attack and its special function, which I will go over later in this section. The attack on the Golem Ring is also much better than I first thought it would be. It deals 9 damage with a slow attack speed, but even this is enough to be a decent weapon. I find that the kill time of a 9 damage slow weapon is similar but possibly a little bit slower than an 8 damage dagger, so it is on par with most supers in its price range. This type of functionality in a very cosmetically appealing item is quite refreshing. Now sadly, if you have been watching the clips, you will have noticed one really sad part of the Golem Ring's attacks. That is, that they do have knockback, which I generally find hurts the usefulness of a weapon. It does, however, fit the look of the item, obviously smacking someone with two large pumpkins would knock someone back, but it is still disappointing. However, Golem Ring does not stop there. It also includes a special ability which, not surprisingly with the way weapons have been lately, is a heal. Now, obviously, because this item is from an event, it's only going to be a one heal per tech ability, however, it is nice to have that extra feature on the item. Overall, Golem Ring is a pretty decent item to have in your inventory, both for looks and the ability to deal damage and heal. With all of this taken into account, I give the Pumpkin Golem Ring a 7 out of 10 in usefulness. Next up, we're going to be talking about the rarity of Pumpkin Golem Ring, and this is where it gets very complicated. This is one of the few super rare items that wasn't released through auctions. In early December, an event was released called the Pumpkin Harvest Event. If you guys do want more info about that event, I do have a video on it, so you can check back for that. In this event, you ran around the map looking for pumpkins, and finding and bringing back 10 huge pumpkins yielded a very prestigious prize, the Pumpkin Golem Ring. Now, this wasn't as easy as it sounds, and very quickly people realized this item was going to become a super. In reality, Pumpkin Golem Ring isn't that rare, and I estimate around 40 were brought in the game during the event. They obviously aren't as common in trade tables, but that is because many were hoarded the moment they came out. In my opinion, this item is a fantastic hoard, and most players with large sums of shells have seen that, so I assume the item will continue to be relatively rare to the naked eye in trade tables. This being considered though, I still feel Pumpkin Golem Ring to be only a 4 out of 10 in terms of rarity. Demand is very similar to rarity for Pumpkin Ring. I think that the usefulness of the item along with the looks definitely gave it a relatively high starting demand. However, the hoarding I mentioned in the rarity section is probably the biggest reason why people want this item. Because the item is so popular to hoard, it seems like a very good investment for most players, and I actually disagree with that, but I will expand on that more in other sections. This idea that it is a good investment item definitely is artificially increasing the normal demand for an item like this, so I do expect the demand to level out at some point. That being said, it still is a really cool item with a decent demand demand, and because of that I still give it a solid 6 out of 10 in demand. Now, one of the most important parts of these reviews is the price, and Golem Ring obviously has quite a volatile one. This is because it originally came through an event, and it started at a low price, selling for around 5 to 7k. However, as the item was hoarded and the event came to an end, the price began to slowly rise. It peaked around 17k, but began to fall as hordes were released. This is the point the item is at now, sitting at a pretty stable price of 9 to 10k. However, the item is still showing signs of dropping further, but that will most likely end and stabilize quite soon. I do feel Pumpkin Ring has a chance of rising in the future, but in my opinion, a price range near 10k seems much more likely. Now, for the part of the video you guys come here for. My opinion on whether or whether or not you should purchase the Pumpkin Golem Ring. This is definitely a complicated one to give my opinion on. On one hand, you have all the pros. These include the amazing looks and decent usefulness. However, the erratic price and demand and the consistency of it being hoarded and released makes it much less desirable. Overall though, I do have to count this item as a buy. The item itself is very fun to own, as well as it could become quite rare in the future due to hordes. I do not believe it's guaranteed enough to use in as investment though, but if you do have enough shells to buy one and want something to keep, it's definitely a great choice for the low price. I do also think that this is the best non-trash pick option at that price range. This is already an item that I have purchased for myself and intend to keep for the foreseeable future, so I have to recommend it to you guys. And with that, we have the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy it, please leave a good old thumbs up down below. Also, comment down below your opinion on the Pumpkin Golem Ring. Do you agree with my ratings and opinions? I'd love to hear. 
And finally, if you haven't already, please make sure you are subscribed as I do keep everyone up to date on all ground news, updates, events, and much more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.